Hey guys, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. Adobe had some kind of contract dispute with Pantone Color Company, so now not only are they charging a subscription fee for their products, they're also adding a $15 a month subscription fee just to use Pantone colors. And some people are reporting that in some of their old files, the Pantone colors went black. As of right now, thank goodness Affinity is not charging anything full of Pantone colors and of course we don't have subscription fees so that's great so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get to your Pantone colors how to use them and I'm going to do it in photo designer and publisher so let's get started I'm starting out with Studio Link and Publisher. You don't need Studio Link. You can open up photos separately, designers separately, or publishers separately. But I love the fact that I own all three, and Studio Link is so much easier. So I have Publisher open. I'm going to just say File New, and I'm doing a regular letter, and I'm going to just hit Create. So here's a letter, and I'm going to first go to Photo. Persona. It looks and is exactly Affinity Photo, and that's what I love about Studio Link. I'm just going to enlarge this a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is just make a rectangle. I'm trying to keep these very simple, and I'm going to use the same rectangle probably in all three programs. And then I'm also doing a tutorial on the iPad version in case you're interested. We know that in Photo we have a color tab. But if you want to get to swatches, if you don't see it there, go to Window and Swatches. And you can just pick any kind of swatch. You can do anything like this, just like you would any, any other color. But if you want to go to Pantone Colors, what you have to do in the drop-down box here, say I want the Pantone Color Bridge Coded, I'll choose that, and there's my Pantone Colors. The nice thing about the desktop version is that you can do a search for the color. In the iPad version, you just have to scroll through them, and I don't like that you have to scroll through it. So, for example, I know 186 is a color that someone say, might say to you, oh, I need a logo, and I need it in Pantone 186. So I'll go 186, which I believe is one of the red colors, and there it is, 186 right there, Pantone 186, and that's how easy it is to do Pantone colors. Okay, I'm going to delete that now. Let's try it now in Designer. So if you, you can open Designer separately, but since I have Studio Link, I just click here, and this is I am in Designer already, and I can go to Swatches. Actually, because I was using Pantone 186 before, it's already in my Swatches panel because I just switched over. But if you want to do it from scratch instead, you go right here to Document, in your swatch panel. If you don't see swatch panel, remember you can go windows and make sure you have swatches checked. But you go to document. Again, I'm going to Pantone coded and it's 186 is there already, which is wonderful. And that's why I love studio link. I can bounce all around and use each, each item separately. But there it is. It's 186, 186. And that's because we have a Pantone coded and you can just punch in any number if you didn't want it. One eight, I don't know a number offhand, but let's say 177 is probably a Pantone color, I'm guessing. And I don't know. Yep, there's Pantone color 177. And also, if you're in Publisher, you can do exactly the same thing. I am now in Publisher, and here it is, Publisher here. Go Same thing, go to Swatches, type in the number under Pantone. You, and you can do different types of Pantone, by the way. But just type it in as you need it and then type it. Affinity does not charge you as of right now, and I hope it stays that way, if you need to use Pantone colors. Whereas Photoshop, on top of their monthly fees, charge an extra $15 a month if you need to use Pantone colors, which is very expensive if you're a business and, and you need to get your logos to be the exact color of the Pantone they're sending you. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.